everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to the September 2021 channel update. And this is basically a monthly kind of short show where I kind of ramble on for about maybe 10 or 15 minutes and just share a little bit of some of the geeky numbers behind the channel if you're into that thing and then talk a little bit about how things are going, how I'm doing with regards to the channel in terms of emotion and kind of progress and different kinds of things like that. And then take a little bit of a look at kind of what things I have, uh, what things I'd like to do going forward. So without any delay, let's kind of jump right in and take a look and see how things have gone for the past month. It's been about um, a little bit longer than a month since we've done one of these. Uh, so things all, all together, things have gone pretty well. I, I've been really happy. I mean, again, this is a you know, super small channel. It's growing. It's kind of growing slowly and stuff like that. But and I was talking to someone else who, in the numbers, I don't think are important to me, but the numbers are a sign kind of grow of growth, and that growth does feel good. So it's very rewarding when you see things like views going up and things like that. Not so much that that's the objective. I really just want to have fun making stuff that hopefully people enjoy watching, and that's what I really want to stay focused on. But those numbers sometimes I feel like are a reflection of your ability to do okay at that anyway. So it's fun to see the numbers going up and stuff like that. If we kind of dig a look and at the, we're at 745 subscribers right now, which at the, at the pace it's going, I never thought this would be possible maybe two or three months ago, but it looks like things keep going this way. It's conceivable that it could hit a thousand before the end of the year, which would be crazy. That'd be nuts. Cause thousands always felt like to me like this, this like Mount Everest. And it's, you know, it's not, not that you have a big channel, but at a thousand, it's like, it's a thing. You know, it feels like it's, it's there and YouTube recognizes it and stuff like that. So it's always been kind of sitting there in the back of the head as kind of one of those long-term goals. So to think that we might be kind of closing on this feels really good. And to that, again, I'll say this every single episode um, that I do one of these. Thank you again to all the people who have been new subscribers, people who have watched the most fun I have. I like, I love making the stuff, but I love reading people's comments and kind of uh, interacting with people and kind of having conversations about the stuff and th things like that. That to me is what really brings it to life. So thank you to everybody who's liked, commented, subscribed, and all those kinds of things. It's really, um, it's the fuel, if you would, that kind of keeps you going, you know, as kind of a creator. So thank you in that regard. Uh, but yeah, um, views and stuff like that, if we look more closely there, uh, so in the past is what, the last 28 days, first time ever it's crossed a thousand hours in a month, which I think is is feeling pretty good. And then 10,000 views this month. I think everything in terms of like views per day, I think there was one day before there were 600 views in a day, but yesterday was 568, which I think is second highest. And yesterday was, I know the highest for hours because I think it had never gone over 50 something before that. So yesterday was 63 hours and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And subscribers kind of continue to like two, three, four a day or something like that, which is all kind of really fun to just uh, to see them, the numbers going that way. If we look at the uh, individual content and episodes and stuff like that. Oh, wait, wait, let's go back here. I think it is. Nope. Back here to analytics. The it's interesting, I think, to watch these. These are the top 10 videos in the last 28 days. And if we look at those, we can see that there are four American Truck Simulator, three Euro Truck Simulator, and then three from the Wargaming series. Each of the first episodes in the Wargaming series um, are in the top 10, which is kind of cool. And some of them are pretty old. You know, the Africa Core one was done early in June. So uh, pretty cool. And so far, it's kind of fun. What's not there is Football Manager, but of course, this is the quiet time for Football Manager. So we'll talk more about that as we go forward. But if we take a look at the numbers themselves, the... ATS videos. Here's the American Truck Simulator videos. Um, I feel like if it gets like a video gets 100 views now, it's like, OK, I, that was cool. That's really fun. And the eight American Truck Simulator ones kind of are doing pretty well in that regard. Uh, the first one's up uh, over 2500 now, which is kind of pretty amazing because it's not that old. Um, and then the rest are you know, usually 200, 100 or something like that, a little bit more, 300 maybe. Uh, so that one's doing really well. And the feedback, people seem to enjoy it. And so that's kind of fun. I haven't made too many uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 ones. If we look at those numbers, you know, again, in the hundreds or so, between 100 and maybe 200 or so, a little bit low 200s. And uh, but, you know, not having made those, but they seem to do. Keeps chugging along and stuff like that, which is good. If we look at Football Manager, um, interestingly enough, that started to pick up a little bit, too. We had that lull in the beginning of August where no episodes went over 50 views, although, you know, earlier in the year they were consistently you know, 60 to 100, 120 maybe. And so really dropped off in August. But maybe with the announcement of the new release date on November 9th, 
We're getting close to the new cycle. Maybe that's why they're picking up here. But the last two have been up over 70. So maybe football manager is starting to have a pulse again, which is kind of fun. Really enjoying playing in it. We'll talk a little bit about that uh, in a moment, too. And then uh, war game ones, uh, you know, over 100. Most of them, this is the later episodes of the Sherman Leader one, which is a little bit lower. But they keep picking up views every day. So uh, they keep kind of going along. And so, again, in that kind of 100 range with some of the earlier ones picking up more, 200, 300 or so. And this one's crazy. The the Africa Corps one, which is, whoops, it's behind me and I can't lift it up, but 1100. I thought when I made that, because it's such an old game, that it would get maybe four views. And it, it's, it just keeps getting views, which is really interesting. And I've got a bunch of games like this, which makes me think that it'd be fun to go back and do some of those other older games that we have as well. So that's kind of where the numbers are and things like that. And let's take a little bit, let's talk a little bit now, I think about uh, kind of if we would, where things are between the head and how I feel about it. And the biggest thing is it's been super fun. You know, I had a goal for August, which was to create 31 videos, one a day in, in August. And I had a week's worth of travel in there. And then I came back and work was really busy. So I ended up with 24. So I fell short by about seven videos. But still, I feel pretty good about that. And it was fun. And I don't feel like I'm burning out at all. It's fun to try to do one. One video a day when I'm around and things aren't too crazy feels pretty sustainable. And so I'm hoping to keep that up for the month of September. So 30 days, 30 videos. That's kind of a personal, another middle mini goal there. And I think it's what, 10 days, 11 days. Today's the 12th day. And I think I've got 10 videos. So yeah, behind by a couple, but this will help catch up as well too. So that's kind of the goal and just kind of keep chugging along in there. So um, enthusiasm and kind of desire to do it. It still feels pretty good. I'm feeling pretty positive. I, I did want to talk about one thing with the wargaming videos that I've been thinking about a lot. That wasn't so much fun. And it kind of popped up between the new Agincourt series, between episode one and number two, where I noticed that I was really self-conscious and concerned about making mistakes as I was playing. Now, if you play like computer games, it's really hard to make a mistake because the computer won't let you make a mistake, right? You can't really do something unless you're knowingly trying to break the rules or something like that. But with war games, you have to keep the rules in your head and you have to play the game and you have to have a strategy for the game. And then you have to create the video and talk while you're doing all this. So it's a high cognitive load. And I've been gone from wargaming, away from wargaming again for about 20, 25 years or so. So I'm kind of re-immersing, kind of emerging my, re immersing myself in the, the context of playing the games and then add on the making the videos. I feel like it's really easy to make mistakes because a lot of these games are complicated and they have a lot of side rules. And I found myself really worried about making mistakes and it started to get to be not fun. And so I was chatting with a few people and kind of talking about things and thinking through things and stuff like that. And I realized that, you know, I really just have to have kind of a growth mindset about developing skill at that. And I've only made about 20 session videos right now, which is really nothing when you think about it. And it's a whole different type of video making. So I think what I've come down now to is now, I'm just gonna enjoy the process. I'm not gonna worry about mistakes. And really just try to crank out a hundred of these so that you know you can kind of build up the cognitive capacity of holding rules, shooting video, having a strategy, talking at the same time, and playing the game. <laughs> so I have to cut myself a break and realize that, yeah, there's just gonna be a lot of mistakes. You know, you're just going to make rules mistakes. And even if you've done it a hundred videos, there's still gonna be rule mistakes. But I have to be a little bit understanding of the fact that I'm very new to this and it's gonna take a while before. And kind of build up sme speed and smoothness with, smoothness with it and just avoid you know a lot of mistakes. Mistakes are just going to be there. So I think I've sorted that out and I feel much better about that. But so yeah, that's where it is. I think uh, you know feel really good. Again, thank you for all the comments and support and everything like that. It's been super fun. And uh, let's talk a little bit about what's up for September as we go into uh, October. So roughly a, a lot of the plan, I think really kind of could be summed up in same, same. <laughs> I feel like where things are going are it, I liking what I'm doing and it's feeling pretty good. But I suppose there's some nuances to talk about with each one of these things. American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator, as soon as we're kind of through the Wyoming event, which is a new DLC that's been published, I think I'm going to try to really get back into tag teaming back and forth between the two games and uh, play one and play the other and go back and forth like that. And I, I feel like that's that's been super fun to do. It's chill. It's relaxing. It's like game Zen meditation for me. And uh, it's so, you know, as long as people seem to keep enjoying them, I'm going to kind of keep making those and cranking out, you know, a couple of week of those. So that's really the plan for that. Uh, with Football Manager, I want to finish up the uh, Walkabout Europe and just kind of keep doing that. I'm having a ton of fun making it. 
Got about two months to finish it up. So I'm hopeful that it can do it in that time. Might need to make kind of a push towards the end there and really kind of crank out some episodes. But really having fun at Tottenham right now. And I think, you know, if we can do well there, two, three seasons, maybe get a shot at the Champions League final, which would be the official end of it. I might need to scale that bang to, down to a Europa League final or a Conference League final. But um, we'll see how we go with that. But so far, so good. Full speed with that. I'm enjoying that. Then um, with the Wargaming videos, we're almost done now with the Agincourt series. And that's been fun to make. It's a different game. So a lot of new challenges. Rules are a little bit more complicated in some ways than like Sherman Leader or Africa Corps. So it's a little bit of a tiny level up in that. Although, you know, it's not a complicated game, which makes me think I have quite a bit of leveling up to do to start playing some more complicated games that are out there. But, you know, step by step, just keep making them out and getting better at what you're doing and enjoying the process and kind of trying out new ideas and things like that. I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do after Agincourt is... I take that back. After Agincourt is done, I'm going to do Shores of Tripoli. I'm going to play that game and then shift into something else. And I might try to get two series running at once because I have a new table now and it can hold two games, which is really cool. So, uh, you know, and if you've got ideas on games you'd like to be, see be played in that, let me know. Um, I'd really like to kind of have a wide variety and just trying to develop skill at it and, and kind of keep betting better and play different games and enjoy different games. So that's kind of the thought there. And then lastly, I should mention, I have not forgotten about uh, Panzer Corps because I really want to keep going with that. <laughs> So I do want to explore the balance of I'm enjoying board war games, but I want to go back to kind of the computer PC war games as well. And I feel like my goal was to get through the North African campaign with that, which was a scaled back original goal. And I do want to get to at least that goal and then maybe even continue a little bit too, now that the audience seems to kind of be overlapping a little bit between those genres there. But um, yeah, I think that's it right now. Maybe some other new things as they go along, but I think those series seem to be to be filling things up right now and having a blast doing them. So let me know as well if you have other ideas, things you'd like to see on the channel too. But again, the general idea is kind of games for your brain, strategy games, games that make you think and stuff like that, with probably the exception of the Game Zen series, which is uh, the American Truck Simulator and the Euro Truck Simulator too. So I think that's about it for September's update. Steady as she goes. We'll keep driving along. Uh, thanks again, as always, for the, the support. It's uh, It's been... Uh, it's been quite a, a fun journey here the last three or four months and i've enjoyed it before then too but in particular the last three or four months have been super fun and i'm um, happy to make stuff if you have suggestions on how to make things better as well too please let me know but i think that wrap up wraps it up so uh this is our september update and we'll be back in about probably about three weeks for the october update because we're getting close to the midpoint here in september take care everybody have a great week and we'll see you again soon